What's happening out there, everyone? You know what it is, Dr. Hustle. And it is Friday. It's fucking Friday. So, you know, I want to get a little deeper into fucking Friday. But this is what's going to happen here. I want to go into uh, a company called Silver Star. Silver Star Live. I'm sure they're not around anymore, but it was the biggest scam that I've ever gotten into. Um, it was my second affiliate marketing uh, company. The first one was iMarkets Live, taught me how to do Forex. And a uh, great company. Um, I actually had a nice size team in there. Uh, if you want to learn how to do Forex, IML is definitely the way to go. And um, I can definitely direct you to some people. Uh, that can help you learn that if you want. Just send me a message. Uh, but they taught me the whole affiliate marketing aspect. And I met this guy, uh, Dante, uh, at this other scamming event that I'll get to in the next piece that I'm talking about. Uh, and um, we were doing IML together. And we were doing quite well. And he introduced me to this company, Silver Star Live. And I didn't want to get into it, but, you know... Uh, I rocked with Dante. We were cool. And um, I tested the software out with him. You know, I didn't want to leave him by itself. Well, long story short, this software did not work at Silver Star Live. I kept telling them, like, yo, this doesn't work. I'm not with taking people's money because we were, like, building a team there. And I stopped. Well, when I stopped, they ended up taking my whole team, um, you know, talking crazy about me. And that was my introduction to, uh, not affiliate marketing, network marketing, how nasty that game gets. But yeah, they took all of my money out of that wallet. They took my entire team from me. Crazy. That was crazy. Um, then the next one, uh, David M. Anderson, or David, Dr. David and M. Anderson, or David Anderson, or Black Economics, or Economics, or... <laughs> This guy has so many names. Um, this is back when I was young and dumb when I first got money. Um, you know, fuck it. You know, I'm going to put him on blast so he don't get anybody else. This guy keeps changing his Facebooks, his Instagrams, his web links. Uh, but it was tied into this power networking conference that I went to here in DC, in Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, I was trying to figure out, like, where to make investments to... And, you know, how to better myself. And I had friends in my ear talking about, you know, how black people need to come together and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I go, okay. So I go to this power networking conference here in Washington, D.C., um, held by this guy, uh, George Frazier. And um, that's where I met Dr. Jewel and, and found out about iMarkets Live, which was great. Um, but that power networking conference makes me a little iffy because I keep seeing George Frazier and this guy, uh, Dr. David Anderson doing events everywhere together. And he knows that David Anderson is taking people's money here in DC, or at least took that entire group's money here in DC. He took me for over $60,000, uh, talking about some property, uh, tax liens, um, with properties. And that was my first time, you know, trying to get in properties back then. And, uh, you know, I went on the, the whole George Frazier, um, you know, they all stood up for him. Another guy, Robert, uh, Mike Roberts, a Kappa brother at that, uh, supposed to be like a guy with all his, uh, status from Detroit. And, you know, they all vouched for this guy, Dr. David Anderson. And it, he got us to go in this course. We went around Washington, D.C., and he took everybody in the class's money. Um, we were supposed to get properties with him, and that never, ever happened. Uh, so that's why I'm really big on telling you guys, you know, when I did all of this, I didn't have paperwork. Um, you know, I, I didn't have email th uh, threads or text messages that I could go back and, and really capture this on. Uh, so when people are talking about large lump sums of money, you know, don't ever put money in somebody's head. You need contracts and paperwork. I don't listen. I don't care who it is. Okay. You need paperwork. 
If they're talking about anything over $1,500, paperwork, okay? All right? Um, don't trust them. You know, uh, the whole... And I don't know about that power networking thing, but I'm never going back to it. I'll never advise anybody else to go back to it uh, because I keep seeing them run around together all around uh, the U.S. So, I mean, if you know it's a fraud in one state, it's got to be a fraud in another and they keep doing the events together. So, I mean, watch out for Dr. David Anderson and whatever the hell that Silver Star is doing. With, uh, uh, they have supposedly have like a, a bot that can trade in the foreign exchange for you. Look, no bot works. They're, that is a lie. They keep changing their name to like global something. Uh, but the people who are running that is Hassan. And um, dang, I forget his wife's name. There was another guy, Pete, in there who owned Silver Star, uh, crazy. And they had another guy, Jamie, out in um, Minnesota, another robber. Like, I'm telling you, you guys, if you guys want the real and you want to know who's scamming out here, trust me. If anybody's been scammed, I always put my stuff up first and test it out first to let me go through it before I tell anybody else about anything that I do because uh, I know I can bite that bullet um, and, and go through it. But I don't like to see them taking money from innocent people. And I'm telling you, both, both of those incidents, I tried to warn people what happened to me. And it's crazy how people like turn their back at me and talk crazy towards me saying insane things. And then, you know, Six months later, they realized, holy shit, it happened to me. Like, I told you, I'm I'm not out here to gain money uh, from anybody unnecessarily for not, you know, if I give my services or something, you got to pay. But I don't scam people. That's not my thing. That's not how we supposed to be making money out here. We supposed to be uh, literally uh, helping people to excel with our services or products. And that's what I do, you know, and I help other people to learn how to do this as well ethically we never like i cannot stand scammers so fuck it they're on the top of my fucking list um i hope they get this message and i don't care you know what i'm saying it's friday uh and if you guys have any scammers out there i want y'all to list them in the comments let's start calling these scammers out scammers need to be called out companies or people Let's let others know, don't mess with scammers.